Ready, aim, fire. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. I want to talk a little bit about the Onslaught DLC map pack scheduled for release on January the 28th, which is tomorrow. Now, for those of y'all currently still playing Call of Duty Ghost, you already know that the maps are ridiculously huge. Sometimes it's just discouraging. I spend so much time running around to find people to only get shot in the back. So with the new DLC, you're going to have small to medium sized maps. So I kind of just want to go through each map, talk about some of the perks, and also talk about the bonus rifle. It's an assault rifle called the Maverick with a sniper kit. Now I know how you guys feel about snipers, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, you got fog, bay view, containment, and ignition. All right, let's start off with fog. One of the things that I found funny in their promo is they keep talking about dominate, dominate the barn. And I don't know if this is like an MLG version of camp or what have you, but that it doesn't seem like dominate the barn. You already know what they're going to be doing in this barn. They're just going to be sitting there. Now, fog is kind of a mysterious, dark, foggy place. It kind of makes me think of like a dark version of whiteout. But anyways, I found one of the things that was kind of interesting on all of these maps is that if you complete the field orders, you get certain perks. So with Fog, let's take Fog for instance. You complete the field order, you become Michael Myers. Now I know all of you guys know who Michael Myers is. We used to play in Call of Duty 4, we did it in MW2. It's just something that's been around. I don't know why all of a sudden after five years, this is all of a sudden a topic and something that they kind of just want to throw in there, but what have you. It's never been my cup of tea. I did play it occasionally just because I was invited, but it just wasn't really fun. I don't know. I don't find knifing fun, but some people don't find sniping fun. So, you know, to each their own. You bought the game, you play it however the hell you want. All right, Bayview. Now, this is more of a boardwalk. It's kind of on the ocean, Jersey Shore kind of thing. And with this one, when you complete the field orders, you call in an artillery strike. Now, they have these naval destroyers out in the ocean. So, you get ready, you feel, you know, you complete the field orders, you call in an artillery strike, boom. Now, one of the things I found interesting on this map is you get to put a sentry gun on a trolley. Now, one of my biggest things is I hate campers. And I hate it even worse because you took campers and you gave them a dog. Like that's, I run into that so many times, it's ridiculous. So now all I have in my head is a camper with a dog and a sentry gun on a trolley. So this just kind of blows my mind. I'm hoping and I'm assuming I'm wrong, but who knows? All right, containment. Apparently, this map is in Mexico, and it kind of looks like it could be a sniper, just a sniper's paradise, let's be honest. It's just, they say it has multiple ins and out, which to me, it just means it has multiple places for people to sit. Every nook and cranny and crevice, somebody's going to be sitting there waiting on you to run by. Already feel it? I know it. Try not to read into it, but it is what it is. Same way with the field orders. Now, on this one, on containment, when you call in the field orders, you get to call in a mortar strike. So I'm kind of, you know, I kind of find it interesting that you have all these new perks and maybe it'll get, you know, maybe the field orders will get people to move in and not camping. I don't know. It's completely a hope, completely a fantasy, but I'm going with it. Positive thinking. All right, guys, the last one is called Mission. Now, apparently, this is a remake of Scrapyard from MW2. Now, I loved, I loved MW2, and it was great before hackers took it over, and I kind of feel like Call of Duty Ghost is headed in that direction. But Scrapyard, it was great for SMGs, it was great for ARs, and it was great for snipers. So I'm hoping that this is going to be the same way. I don't know. I always feel like when they do a remake that it's never like, you know, it's never as good as the original. We all know that, whether it's a map or whether it's a movie. It's never good as the original. The same way with this. Whenever you complete a field order, they have a test engine apparently in the middle of the map and that it ignites. Anyone in the proximity of this test engine will burn. I don't know. Kind of like this big rocket sitting in the middle. It gets ready to take off. Burns everything around it. I don't know. All right. The Maverick. Like I told y'all, it's an assault rifle with a sniper kit. Now, I kind of find this just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I kind of think it's going to be like overkill in one rifle. You know what I mean? I, I feel like a sniper is going to have it, and if they're not making the shot, they're just going to switch it, and they're going to go to AR mode. And, you know, I just, I don't like that. I don't think that it, it should be either be it an assault rifle or it should be a sniper rifle. It shouldn't have both. That just doesn't make sense to me. 
Anyways, the last thing on this is extinction. Now, I've never been an alien fan. I've never been a zombies fan. Like, that just isn't my cup of tea. The same thing, you know, same thing with knifing. It's just not for me. It may be for you, but it's just not my thing. The only time I ever really play zombies is when I get invited. I mean, honestly. I played it in World at War because... I absolutely hated that game. I just could not stand it. So that was the only thing I even kept the game for was to play zombies. But I don't know. With this extinction, it's supposed to be like this mini series taking place with these aliens. And one of the things that I found just absolutely great in the, you know, in the promo is they talk about these aliens, how they're running around jumping and for some reason, I have in my mind this picture of these aliens like using scuff controllers, you know, because you can tell how somebody's hopping around and drop shotting and stuff. You're like, oh, man, you know, he's got a scuff controller. So that's that's what's in my mind is that these aliens are just running around and stuff. Anyways, it's going to be a mini series. It's going to have five parts. I don't know. It may float your boat. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't know. You know, i I buy Call of Duty games to play the multiplayer. I don't care about any of these extra stuff. I never do the campaign. I never do the single player. It just, I don't know, it just isn't me. I only play it for multiplayer. So, I don't know. I kind of think it's a great um, idea. But as with everything else from Call of Duty, it's always a great idea and crappy execution. So, I don't know. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. But like I said, I am really excited about the about the small to medium sized maps. I am assuming that people are going to move around a little bit more. And, you know, the maps right now are just so big. And it's just, like I said, you spend most of your time running around only to get shot in the back, you know, and especially like on crank. I love playing crank, but I spend most of my time just running around trying to find people. I end up blowing up because I can't find anybody. So, I don't know. I really think this is going to be a good DLC. Um, I hope and pray, as with everything else, I expect the worst, pray for the best, and we'll just have to see. That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.